In this video, we're going to look at the setup and the operation uh, of this vertical meal and producing a spur gear. There's our mandrel. There's our blank. I'll get the paperwork and I'll show you what's going on here. So there is our mandrel. It's cut to size. We made it two inch diameter because I'm going to cheat and I'm going to make the easy gear. It's two inch diameter. It's uh, Depth of cut is going to be 154, the addendum 71, tool, tooth width is 112 thousandths, and it's one rotation and 7 thirteenths indexing, which I'll talk about in just a moment. But on this handout, you've got all of your formulas right here for you. So here's our print of the gear blank, or, yeah, the gear blank. Uh, it's one inch wide, two inch diameter, one inch hole. I put the chamfers on it, you can see the chamfers. Uh, but now the, the machine, the indexing head and the foot stock have to be set up. So I went ahead and set it up. I made sure it was straight. I ran an indicator across the side. I've also got an indicator on the top and side of the gear. As you can see, when I go back and forth, I'm not moving anywhere. So now we know that our, our blank, our gear blank on the mandrel is straight and true. Now, one thing I want to stress is this end here is the fat side of the mandrel. Remember the mandrel had uh, a fat end and a fat side on the thin side. There's our mandrel. One side is bigger, one and a half thousand is bigger. One, is, one end is one and a half thousand smaller. So ours is actually in like that. We've got the big side here. So as we're cutting, see the, the rotation of the cutter is gonna be pushing toward the chuck and it's gonna be trying to push the gear blank further on the mandrel. But because this end is the fat side, it can't push it further back, okay? So the way this works, and I'll go ahead and take some of this off, just to get it out of the way. We have the foot stock sets in there. And I did go ahead and raise this up with a screw jack just a little bit. But now when I put the foot stock in, it's gonna push, push it right back in position. So there we have, the setup. Okay, so we're gonna take our cutter. You notice that this is the arbor that we made, we heat treated, we ground it. This is my cutter, but the teeth are gonna be, it's gonna be cutting counterclockwise. Typically we think of clockwise cutting. This is cutting counterclockwise because we're gonna start at this end and we're gonna go across it, okay? So there's a few other things I need to do before we get ready to cut. Now the foot stock is all uh, fastened down, the indexing head, everything is secured. Um, our part is in. I do need to touch the tool off. So I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And I'll also show you how to do the indexing in just a moment. Let's look at how to set the height of the cutter. We need to get the cutter exactly on the center. So what I use is a simple parallel and put it on top of the cutter. Now I know my cutter is 240 thousandths thick and the diameter of my gear blank is two inches. So I'm gonna minus half of the gear thickness of the gear cutter, which would be 120 thousandths. I'll minus that from half of the gear blank and that should give me 880 thousandths. So I already did the math here and you can see half of the gear is one inch. Thickness of the cutter is 240. Half of it is uh, 120. So just take the thickness of the gear cutter minus half of the work and I end up with 880 thousandths. So what I do is I get the, the top of the gear cutter right even with the top of the work. Okay, and then I'm just gonna crank my knee one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred and eighty thousandths right there. Now our cutter is exactly in the middle of our part. All right, so we're gonna move it back just a little bit so you can see that. And remember our cutter is going counterclockwise, so we're going to run it backwards. So don't forget that it's gonna run backwards because it needs to push toward the chuck. 
the fat end of the mandrel is back here. The small end of the mandrel is here. My gear blank is here in the middle. And I'm going to be cutting, pushing toward the chuck. Now the gear that I'm cutting is uh, gear number two. It's two inch diameter. And the thing I'm looking for here is my indexing. It's one round and seven thirteenths. Well, I don't have a plate that has 13 hose. I don't have a plate that has 26 hose, but I have a plate with 39 hose in it. This plate right here, that series right there is 39 hose. So three times 13 is 39. Three times seven is 21. So I'm going to go one rotation and 21 spaces each time I uh, operate this. So I'm going to go one rotation and then 21 spaces. And that's what these sector arms are for. So I set the sector arms with 21 spaces in between this arm and this arm. So again, I need a rotation of one rotation and seven thirteenths. I don't have a 13 plate. I don't have a 26 plate, but I have a 39 because I times it by two is 26. Don't have a 26 plate. Times it by three, I have a 39. So three times 13 is 39. Three times seven is 21. So I'm going one and 21 39s. So one rotation plus 21 spaces. And each, each time I make a cut, I'm going to rotate it, make a cut, come back, rotate it again, put it right here. The sector arms are so I don't have to count each time. I just flip my arms around. I know that there's 21 spaces on the 39 set of holes. So I go one rotation and then 21 spaces every single time until I go all the way around. Remember, we're going to do a rough cut. The, the depth is going to be 154, so I'm going to cut it 114 thousandths deep first, and I'm going to come back on my finish pass 40 thousandths. Okay? Now we're going to look at uh, setting the RPM. We're going to do some calculation. 3.82 times cutting speed of 60, because we're using 01 tool steel, divided by a two and a half inch diameter cutter, and it's roughly 90 RPM. So it's gonna be running really slow. So now I just come out about to the middle of the part. I just move my work out until it just barely scratched the cutter. Just barely touched it. So you can see the scratch on the work right there. So now I'm going to rotate one rotation and 21 spaces. I'll move the sector arms. I'm gonna lock the indexing head down. I'm gonna come up and make a scratch. I'll move it back. All I wanna do now is just make sure that I go all the way around and make sure that it starts and ends in the same spot. So now I'm gonna unlock, rotate one round and 21 spaces. Move my sector arms each time. Don't forget to do that. Lock it down, come up make a scratch that's what the bluing's on there for unlock it one round 21 spaces right there move the sector arms lock it down and just barely scratch it so I'll keep doing that till I get all the way around it and just make sure that it starts and ends at the same spot